Okay, this is the Pros Kit MT5210 LCR meter. Okay, and I have it set at the 2 millihenry range, the lowest range that it's capable of. And here are the leads, short leads, as approved. So what I'm going to do first is just hook these leads together. If I can do this with one hand. There. Whoops. There. Okay, so those leads are hooked together. And we'll give the instrument a moment to stabilize. Okay, that's good. So the meter is telling us that it is reading one microhenry of inductance from these leads together, between zero and one microhenry. Okay, so let me uh, do this little trick here. Let's switch the range up and then, oops, and then back down. And let it uh, go through its thing again. So one, and then maybe after a little while it might drop down to zero, which is telling us that it's somewhere close to one microhenry of inductance in the leads alone. One microhenry is, of course, 1,000 nanohenries. Okay, so now. Let's unclip that. And uh, here's a little commercial stock inductor that I found in my box. And it's marked Can you see that? 1.5 millihenry, right? That's an M next to the H there. 1.5 millihenry is the marked value of this little inductor. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what the pros kit says. Let's hook that there. And hook that there. Okay, so the pros kit meter is giving us a value of 1.519, or really, since the leads are part of that inductance, 1.518 millihenries for this inductor that's marked 1.5 millihenries. So, I mean, that's within the component tolerance. That's accurate, right? Okay. But the real problem with inductances is, is measuring very small inductances, right? So here I have my row of little brown inductors with the white dot. These are one microhenry inductors, each one. So let's go ahead and hook up one on the end. Okay. Oh, oh, the meter just fell off the table. Okay. So anyway, one of those little inductors is hooked up. And remember, we have one microhenry of lead inductance. So the meter's showing us two microhenries total, or one microhenry for the actual inductor itself. Okay. So let's go down one. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we have two of the series inductors hooked together. And the meter now says three microhenries, between two and three microhenries, something like that, taking into account the lead inductance. Okay, so now I go to. 
three microhenries and one, two, three inductors in series. Okay. Okay, four in series. And five in series. Now these components have some tolerance to them. That is, they're not going to be exactly one microhenry each. And there is some inductance in the leads, somewhere around, but a little bit under one microhenry. OK, that's five in series, six in series, one, two, three, four, five, six in series. And seven in series. Right? Okay. Now, the Tar Baby and the Ainsley circuit both use four of these one ohm, 10 watt, so called concrete or sand or ceramic resistors in parallel to uh, monitor the current. This is the so-called shunt or current viewing resistor, all in parallel to give a value of 0.25 ohms. Here I've got one just like that. So now we're going to measure its inductance. Okay, so we'll use the shortest bit of leads possible. Clip it right up close to the body. Okay, I'm going to say that resistor has an inductance of seven microhenries. Seven microhenries. Okay, and there's four of them in parallel. So I think we can do the math. One over the total inductance is equal to one over the inductance of each individual resistor added up together. The individual resistors are seven microhenries each. And let's just uh, do a little recheck, reality check here again. Where's that commercial inductor of 1.5 millihenries? This resistor has an inductance of 7 microhenries. Thanks for watching.